website is like testicles. Give it up for Eric Wolf. So I wanted to give a serious talk, but, you know, I, I knew it was going to be late and we're all drinking, so I figured why not. Uh, and it turns out that marketing and testicles have quite a bit in common. For one thing, obviously, marketing helps you grow a business. The, uh, the, the nuts help grow new humans. And while it is probably not surprising to you that less than half of the people in the world have balls, Believe it or not, less than half of all businesses, even now, less than half of all businesses actually have websites. And for all of their awesoming, awesomely satisfying benefits, both marketing and testicles can leave you a little bit vulnerable. It's, it's quite a weakness, to be truthful with you. And so my, my purpose here tonight is to give you five tips that is going to help keep your business from getting kicked in the berries. And number one, yes, go all in with your marketing, but please be intelligent about it. If, uh, whether you're protecting the family business or the family jewels, you've got to be safe out there. You've got to have the right tools at your disposal. Uh, when I talk to, to, to folks about marketing, especially the older folks, I hear things like, oh, this web stuff is above my pay grade. I don't know about this marketing mumbo jumbo. When I was a boy, men and women slept in different beds. And bottom line, it's 2014, ignorance isn't cute, and there are a few things that we should all have to run our businesses properly. Among those things are a domain name, hosting, a website, social media profiles, and somebody to give you advice and make sure that you don't do something really stupid. I want to talk about sharing for a minute because at its most basic level, marketing is about really opening yourself up to the world. If we don't blow our own horn, nobody else is going to blow it for us. Yes, I said blow. You need to be prepared to talk at any moment about what you're doing in your business, who you're doing it to, and why they enjoy having it done to them. <laughs> I personally have battled my entire life with being an introvert, despite the fact that I'm standing up in front of the stage right now. Um, I was the guy in the corner at the party that was wondering why nobody talked to him. But in life, like in business, you've got to put yourself out there if you want results, which leads me to my next lesson. If you are sitting at home alone on a Friday night, there is absolutely zero chance that you're getting any action from anybody other than yourself. And so I never understood it why people said things like, well, I don't really care if my business can be found on the Googles. <laughs> why not? It's like there's an open invitation party going on right outside, but you're hiding in your house. Why in the world would you do that? Why would you hide from search engines? You know, some people come to the party because they're looking for a certain type of person that they want to meet. Some people come to the party because they're looking for you specifically. And you've got to be there when that happens. Let's be honest, we've all learned a trick or three by watching what people do on the internet. And it's okay to be a little bit voyeuristic. It's okay to watch, especially on your website. You need to watch what your visitors do so that you can learn from them, so that you can reach them more effectively, so that your messaging is, is closer. And there are two tools that marketers use to do this primarily. There's analytics and lead tracking. With analytics, we want to see in aggregate how your visitors are using your site, what's popular, what's trending. Lead tracking lets us basically get inside a single visitor and see what they're doing and what they think and what they do before they contact you. Both views are very important. Finally, one last tip. Why are we doing any of this? Why do we care? Well, we're trying to get results. And no matter what it is that this effort is supposed to yield, we want to make sure that it's worthwhile, but success doesn't always come immediately. Sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes it takes a little bit of experimentation to figure out what works. <laughs> if I go into the same bar every night with the same cheesy pickup line, how many times am I going to go home alone before I realize that I'm going to have to change my approach if I want a different outcome? Marketing is absolutely no different. You need to try out a few moves before you decide what works. But bottom line, 
no matter what, I promise you, even the smallest of businesses can have serious marketing without a lot of time invested, without a lot of money invested. It only matters how you use that effort. My name is Eric Wolf, and I have the stones to tell you that I'm a marketing guy. <laughs>